Welcome to Hang Tough Survival. I'm Robert, and in this video, we're gonna take uh, my snow clipper uh, poke in on a test run. This uh, poke is made by uh, SkiPoke.com. Uh, that's Grant and Ashley up in Minnesota, and uh, I think they make a really well uh, designed uh, pulp. One of the biggest advantages of this pulp, as you can see, it has retractable fins that you can pop down by just using your ski pole, and uh, they have a pretty good uh, depth in the snow. Uh, it'll keep it uh, on track for you uh, through some really side hill treks. Uh, there's another one just like that on the other side. I picked this uh, ski poke because I needed something uh, uh, durable for the rocky terrain up here in Colorado and uh, to be able to handle sub-zero uh, weather conditions. This uh, material on this poke is made of a half inch uh, poly that is, uh, uh, they, they do the molding in a rotisserie style that, that evens the plastic out so it's very durable. You can see Grant jump on this polk in uh, uh, below freezing weathers and it will not crack even if you jump on it. Here I've got about 65 pounds on the polk. Uh, you can see it's nicely tight uh, construction. This polk is uh, about $255 which is a lot for a polk but considering the construction and the the material that's built in, uh, that's not too bad. This pulp weighs about 12 and a half pounds as it is right now with the cover, the sled, and then the poles are about another two pounds. Um, this is about 56 inches long, about 18 inches wide, and it has a seven inch height uh, in, in the base. Uh, I was hoping to get my uh, four dog stove uh, sideways into the back of this because it was 18 inches but it won't fit. I'll show you that when we get to camp. I'll show you what kind of gear I have in here but just to let you know there's about 65 pounds plus I've got some packed in uh, clothes that I may put on as we're moving if I get cold and also some moon boots. The fins on this are an additional $25 but I highly recommend them because they actually shape these there's a notch here that you can see that locks into a, a little hole, a, a, a little rubber molded piece into this. So the $25 is worth the price. The cover on this uh, poke is pretty good. It's designed, it's about $70. I, it is a little pricey, but it's got a lot of quality built into it. That includes the top compression uh, cover with straps. Uh, this will give you about 9,216 cubic inches of space. Uh, I've also put two uh, 30 liter Nimbus, uh, red Nimbus. You can see it in this poke, the, that red Nimbus uh, 30 liter uh, uh, sill line bag. I've had two of those in here underneath this cover and I've gotten over 75 pounds. The poles for this poke are $120 if bought separately. That includes uh, mounting hardware to the polk, but but these polk, these poles came from the uh, factory with this polk in the, included in the $255. Uh, you can see here we've got a uh, ball joint uh, on, the, on the connections. Uh, that helps you move the sled back and forth really nice and reduces stress here. You can see on both ends it has aluminum uh, construction on the end of the poles. These are six foot uh, half inch fiberglass and you can see up here on this end we have uh, rings to hook into the harness. This is the harness from uh, skipoke.com. This is the full harness. It, it weighs uh, about one and a half pounds and costs about a hundred and five dollars. Uh, this, this is uh, the uh, harness has a half inch uh, of thick mini cell foam in it. It's very comfortable. Uh, and it has some really good 500 denier Cordura straps in it. You can see there's a half inch strap that goes all the way around. Uh, it's very strong, very durable. Uh, I really like the, the uh, uh, crotch straps here. Uh, they, keep the, they keep the entire uh, harness pulled down and in place as opposed to riding up. Uh, 
Uh, it keeps the straps and the way this uh, uh, carabiner connects to the poles, it keeps it from really jerking and it keeps it from, uh, it keeps it very tight to my, my hips. Uh, and I'm able to twist my body in order to uh, get the poke to turn left and right. I try to pack this uh, poke such that I have very modular pieces in it so that if I have to unload it for uh, an extreme crossing of some sort, uh, I can easily pull everything off the poke, get the poke across a, a large down tree or possibly something like that. With two people, it's easy enough to lift it at even 65 pounds. Normally I would run this about 45 pounds, but today I have it loaded up with a little bit extra gear to test a, a, a big enough tent and a big enough stove and everything that we would use for a, a more of a family type of uh, bug out or outing. Uh, this is our everyday winter camping uh, pulp, but uh, it can also serve to be pulled behind a horse, a bicycle, a motorbike, ATV, uh, anything of that nature uh, and you can load it down quite a bit. I've had it well over 85 pounds uh, with the two 30 liter Nimbus uh, uh, seal line bags underneath this strap which these will extend up to about this high. I tried not to have this too top heavy because obviously it'll uh, roll over if you get too much weight up top. This, can, this setup right here is a very low profile setup uh, I try not to get it too high, but uh, because it is only 18 inches wide, uh, some of my pokes are much wider than that, 22 inches, uh, but I like a narrower poke because it, it doesn't have to plow as much snow when I'm walking with my snowshoes. So we'll go take a little hike in and uh, we'll get you some live action of it uh, tracking in the snow and, and see what you think. See that the uh, it's got really good zippers on the, the pulp cover, and it's got these large mitten uh, loops for you to open it up. So we'll open it up here, and I'll kind of show you what I've got inside of it, just to give you an idea of all the stuff that I can carry. Here's some food, my shovel. Uh, you can see here we've got a four dog stove which is 10, 10 inches by 10 inches by 18 inches although it will not go sideways I was hoping that that was going to be the case we got some utility equipment here uh, got a uh, tent some more utility gear here's our floor to our tent uh, this is all my clothes and gear that I might need. Uh, X pad, pad, sleeping pad. Here's our tent poles. My Wetterling's axe. On this side, I've got crampons. And uh, tent poles. And inside this box, I've got a lot of stovepipe and some other gear in here also. And that's about it. Uh, here I've got a, uh, a uh, quick saw, quick buck saw. And then one more set of crampons. Uh, and I think 
that's about it. If you learned something from this video, like it, and please subscribe to my Hang Tough Survival channel.